It's all about back to school, specifically back to school anxiety. Yeah. So let's take a look at what everyone had to say about our megaphone. The results are telling us. 67% of you say you do feel back to school anxiety. It's relatable. I mean, yeah. it's, it could be something so small, but it uh -huh. really, it really could consume deal. you. You know, yeah. it's a big deal. Maybe, to, mm -hmm. maybe, so today is Friday, I was about to say maybe tomorrow, maybe next week on Friends at Five, we do a segment on how you combat back to school anxiety. Yes. Or maybe we just, you know, check with Rose, since she's our medical correspondent. Expert, <laughs> yes, she can tell us uh, any exercises or maybe meditations yeah. or if you gotta say a prayer before you leave the house, then anything to help us. Right, so lots of kids across the Midlands will be going back to school within the next week or two, and that new school year can come with a lot of challenges like the anxiety. And what do you know, Rosemary Belt, she checked in with a local pediatrician for some tips on how to cope with back to school anxiety. The school day can have a lot of stress, potential stress for children, whether it's peer pressure, academic expectations, or separation anxiety. And according to a recent National Children's Health Survey, over 4 million kids are diagnosed with anxiety. I'm here with Dr. Lauren Matthews with Lexington Pediatric Practice to talk about what she sees in her practice. Have you seen an increased level of anxiety or depression? Sure, well the back to school time is a time of a lot of changes for children and so whether it's a new school or just starting a new grade or, or going to school for the first time, kids have a lot of questions, they have a lot of concerns. Will my teacher like me? Will I make friends? And so they can experience a lot of anxiety and oftentimes children don't understand how to verbalize what they're feeling right. or recognize that what they're feeling is anxiety. So I was reading also, the CDC said that these, these levels of anxiety increase as a child gets older. What do you think? Well, absolutely. I think as children experience more things in their life, they're going to be at risk for increased anxiety. A lot of times the symptoms are different as the children age too. Mm. So older children are going to be able to say, okay, I'm feeling a little nervous or I'm feeling a little bit anxious. Whereas younger kids, they don't really understand what they're feeling. They just know this doesn't feel right. Would that be like, I have a stomach ache? That is a perfect example. Okay. So a lot of times younger children will have some physical symptoms of anxiety and that's a stomach ache in the morning before they go to school or at night before they go to bed or oftentimes trouble sleeping. And sometimes parents may notice just an overall change in the child's behavior and that can really span across the ages. So with that being said, what are some tips for parents watching? The parents are gonna be the biggest person that's gonna know their children. So they're gonna know, okay, this seems a little bit abnormal. So in the back to school process, it's important for parents to prepare the children for what's about to happen. So if you can, take them to school, let them see the school, the teachers, their classrooms, and just start preparing them for it. At what point should maybe a parent think about you know, getting a professional to step in. So if you ever have any concerns about your children and their behavior, you should definitely talk to their pediatrician. As pediatricians, we only see children for a small portion, but mm -hmm. we rely on parents and their relationship with the children to let us know, hey, something's not quite right. So start with your doctor, start Absolutely. with pediatrician. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Dr. Matthews. I really appreciate your time. So stay with us. We'll be back with more Friends at Five after the break.